Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on SABC3. Our bright and beautiful studio decor is inspired by the most talented local South African designers who've created works of art for your enjoyment each morning. And the light in our Expresso Lives is Martin Dollar, a Cape Townian designer who specializes in bespoke lighting design. And he created the eco-friendly chandelier you often see at the back and that's right behind the Good Hope FM team, especially for our studio. He's going to show us how to make your very own using console glass bottles so you can recycle your bottles at home. So you can also have a little piece of the Espresso studio in your very own home. Good morning. Welcome to Espresso. Thank you for having me. Tell me, where did you come up with the ideas to create these beautiful lights? Oh, well, basically my background is industrial designer uh -huh. um, and I chose to specialize and focus on custom bespoke chandelier design. So my style, as you can see by some of the products that I've mm. brought into the studio, is definitely minimalistic and quite contemporary. And um, I think a good example of one of the products that I've designed is in the front here, this um, origami-inspired uh, fruit bowl that I did for Carol Boys. And my inspiration for, for that product was I took um, a dining room table setting and I actually took the, fo the, the inspiration from folded napkins to, to come up with this paper-like looking sculptural piece. And it looks absolutely amazing. The piece that stands out for me, and everyone sees it every morning, is that glass bottle chandelier. And you're going to show us how to make that today. Definitely. Do you um, want to talk us through that quickly? And then I want to ask you more about what, what inspired you to go environmentally friendly, okay. or if that inspired you at all. Okay, so just to run quickly through how, how that chandelier was made at the back there, I just want to go through a few of the products that you need to purchase. Um, I've put them on display here uh -huh. so you can see in case you don't, don't know the name. But you, what you need to obviously hang the bottles is some strong um, tiger tail braided wire. Then you've got some jump rings and some crimps. Just in terms of tooling that you need, you've got a pair of pliers and an empty cutter. And we've also got a shot of uh, our chandelier <laughs> so you back. can see how to make it. Uh, and you're going to have one. That's the one he made. You see it hanging there. How, what do you so need basically, to do? the first step you'd have to do is obviously re remove the, the labels of the wine bottles. Um, the way and empty the bottles. Yeah, yeah, well, you have to drink with the wine first, obviously. But the way you obviously clean the, the bottles is by soaking them in, in hot, soapy water so the labels come off. So that's obviously not the end result that you want to have. Then what you'd have to do is you need to obviously cut your lengths of braided wire. This is very thin, but obviously a very strong wire that's going to hold the bulbs. And you also need to go down to your local lighting store and you purchase yourself a light fitting, um, a complete light fi fitting that comes with a, a ceiling cap, a cable, and obviously a bulb holder. Perfect, you can do this at home. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, I suggest that you use an energy saver bulb because it's plastic, so you, know, you aren't going to crack the bulb while you're hanging the, 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 the wine bottles. Mm -hmm. um, then your next step is, so, so once you've cut, once you've cut your braided wire to the length that you want to obviously hang, hang the, the wine bottles from, you need to attach I've done this all previously, just yes, to save time. Yes, of course, time. it saves us all time. So obviously you, you attach a, a jump ring to, with a crimp to the end of the one side, mm -hmm. and then you thread the other side through the actual ceiling cup onto the, the ceiling bracket. And this ceiling bracket is going to obviously hold the weight of all the bulbs. That's obviously quite important because you don't want this thing to come crashing down. Then obviously you go and you install, preferably by an electrician, you install your fitting just so you know that it's, that it, that it's structurally sound and mm -hmm. installed. And then what I suggest, is we also want to recycle the corks. Um, it adds a nice little delicate touch to the top of the fitting. Um, you'll take your knife and you'll cut a groove down the length of the cork. You would thread, thread the wire through the cork like that, place Pop it back it in. into the bottle, and you push it down so that it sticks out just a bit on the top so you can see a bit of cork. And then you've got a very secure structure. And you can choose as many light bulbs as you want. You can I mean, many, many bottles. bottles. Well. Obviously, the, for the fitting at the back, we use 25 empty bottles, um, but that obviously depends on the size that you want. And they come in different shapes, different colors, as a bit of characteristic to it. Martin, did, uh, th did you get inspired, just tell me quickly, by the environment and being environmentally friendly for this? That's definitely a big plus at the moment. Um, the world is definitely going that way mm. with des uh, environmentally conscious design. Um, in terms of my products, what I do, we're always researching, as my design studio, we, we're researching new and materials and obviously manufacturing processes that are environmentally friendly. Um. Well, Martin, they look absolutely amazing, and we've just given you a bit of inspiration at home on how to make your own light bulbs. Martin, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for decorating our studio, being the light in the Expresso Live. And now the man who is a talent in the kitchen and he's cooking with Katlejo this morning is Jeremy Mansfield. Over to our kitchen. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.